Hi guys, this is Andrew with HKN, and today I'm going to be doing a signals and systems problem. Uh, so the problem here is given a system whose transfer function, h of s, is s plus 5 over s squared plus 5 s plus 6, find the output for these three inputs. The inputs are x1 of t is e to the minus 3t, uh, x2 of t is e to the minus 4t, and x3 of t is e to the minus 4 parentheses t minus 5, and we're assuming that all of these are starting uh, or are 0 before time equals 0. Uh, I guess this would be u of t minus 5. So, we're going to start with uh, the first input, and so what we're going to exploit here is that our transfer function, h of s, is equal to the Laplace transform of the output over the Laplace transform of the input. So then if we multiply x of s, so the Laplace transform of our input, by the transfer function, we will get the Laplace transform of the output, and then we can just take an inverse Laplace transform and get our output in terms, of, in terms of t. So, let's start with x1 of t here. So we need the Laplace transform of our input, so we're going to take the Laplace transform here. So x1 of s, using either our table or you can evaluate the integral, uh, should be 1 over s plus 3. The U of D usually does not matter for uh, taking Laplace transforms because we assume a unilateral Laplace transform. So once we have this, we should multiply it by H of S to get Y of S. So our output Y1 of S is going to equal to S plus 5 over S squared plus 5S plus 6 times s plus 3. So that means we're going to have a third order polynomial on the bottom here. And there's no really easy way to take the inverse Laplace transform of a third order polynomial. And so what we do is we use partial fractions, which means that uh, we split this up into the form uh, A over s plus 3 uh, plus b over s plus 2, which is just s plus 3 times s plus 2 equals this uh, quadratic equation, plus c over, and because our input's also s plus 3, we have to have an s plus 3 squared term as well. That's just the rules of partial fractions. Uh, you can solve this however you'd like, but in doing so, you're going to get A is going to be minus 3, B is going to be 3, and C is going to be 2. And so these are all of the form that we can take an inverse Laplace transform of. So the inverse Laplace transform here is going to get us uh, y of t, y1 of t, which will denote our output in the time domain. We should get minus 3 e to the minus 3t, put a parenthesis out front, plus 3 e to the minus 2t plus 2t e to the minus 3t all times the heavy side function. And so that's our first output. So our next one is x2 of t. which x2 of t 
was a very similar form, except that 3 is now a 4. So I'm going to go through this process a little bit faster because it's very similar to the previous one. Uh, we take x2 of s, and that's going to be 1 over s plus 4. Then we multiply it by our transfer function to get y2 of s, which in this case is going to be s plus 5 over s plus 2 times s plus 3, which is just again this polynomial factor, times s plus 4, which comes from x2. And again, this is a third order polynomial in our denominator, which we do not know how to fact, we don't know how to take the inverse Laplace transform of easily. So we're going to use our partial fraction expansion. And so we should have something over s plus 2 plus something over s plus 3 plus something over s plus 4. And again, solving this however you feel comfortable solving partial fractions should get you 3 over 2 up top here, minus 2 over here, and 1 half here. And this is, again, in a form that we are easily uh, capable of taking an inverse Laplace transform of. And so we end up with y2 of t, our second output, equaling 3 over 2 e to the minus 2t minus 2e to the minus 3t plus 1 half e to the minus 4t. And so that's our second response. Now, for our third response, it was, again, very similar to x2. except we have a time shift. So instead of it being minus 4t, it's minus 4t minus 5. And the heavy side function is also shifted by the same amount. And so we have a rule when we're dealing with Laplace transforms that a time shift, or a shift in the time domain, results in the exact same, so I guess this is x3 of t now. This will be x3 of s. So a time shift results in the exact same Laplace transform. So we get s plus 5 over s plus 2, s plus 3, s plus 4. But in the Laplace domain, we multiply by e to the time shift, so here it's minus 5, it's a time shift of minus 5 because it's t minus 5, s. And so all a time shift here does is it shifts our output. So when we convert back, we're going to get the exact same output we did before, just time shifting. And this makes sense because this transfer function is the transfer function of a linear time invariant system. And the property of a time invariant system is that a shift in the input just causes a shift in the output. So if we take the inverse Laplace transform of uh, the output, which is, uh, apologies, this is, this would end up being y3 of t, uh, because this was the multiplied Laplace transform. If we take the inverse, we're going to get y3 of t equals 3 over 2 e to the minus 2 t minus 5 minus 2 e to the minus 3 t minus 5 plus one half e to the minus four to the t minus four. And all of this is always times the heavy side function. Apologies if I forgot the heavy side function on one of them, but we always assume 
that uh, any output, uh, sorry, this would also be t minus five. Everything gets shifted by five. So y of t equals zero before, in this case, for t less than five. And for the other cases, it was t less than zero. We always make the assumption that there's a switch on. So we're starting at a certain point. This switch on was at t minus, uh, was at t equals five. So you can assume that for the system, we just, just, we just decided to start our time at a different place. And so our third output would be the same as our second output, just shifted later. It's still doing the same thing to the same output. So it makes sense. Um, but yeah, that is how you use Laplace transforms and transfer functions to solve for the output of systems. Good fun, guys. Thank you.